Hello friends, this video on structural organization of animals part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now since we have spoken quite a few things about uh, glandular epithelium, it becomes important to talk about glands. I mean, however, I know that we have already discussed about glands, their types in details in our class 9th. But still for a recap, we will quickly look at what are glands because whenever I talk about the epithelium or the epithelial tissue, one of the most important function which they perform is secretion. So whenever secretion comes into picture, the glands also come into picture. So let us quickly see what are glands. Glands are organs that synthesize and secrete substances either into blood or into apical surface. So that means they will produce some substances, then they will secrete those substances. Now where will they secrete them? Either into the blood or apical surface. What do we mean by apical surface? It is nothing but the surface of the plasma membrane that faces inwards towards the lumen of any cellular component. For example, whenever we talk about any living organism, suppose human being. So our body is made up of many cells, right? Now each cell will have a plasma membrane or, or a cell wall kind of a structure, right? The membrane, which is the boundary of the cell. So now if suppose this is a cell and this is the membrane. So this portion is facing the exterior side and this portion is facing the inner side. Now glands can secrete the substances either directly into the blood. Okay, that is one thing. Second possibility is that it can secrete it on the apical surface. That means on this surface so that whatever is being secreted goes inside the cell. So these are the two possibilities where they can secrete their chemicals. Now when we say substances, what kind of substances are we referring to? What kind of substances do, do they synthesize and secrete? Now these glands, what do they do is they selectively take up some materials from blood. So some raw material, like let us suppose if you want to prepare um, a cake at your home. So what is, what first of all you need the raw materials to prepare it, right? So whatever you need, maybe flour, sugar, um, or the vanilla flavor and all those stuff all those things are the raw materials so first you have to collect all the raw materials now if you want to prepare a chocolate cake and uh, you cannot end up buying something like um, say uh, chicken for that because that is not at all needed to prepare your cake so you have to be selective while choosing the raw materials correct so similarly here the glands they, their purpose is to produce some substances and secrete them into either blood or on the apical surface. Now in order to synthesize those substances, they have to be selective in choosing the raw materials. And that is exactly what they do. They selectively take up some materials from blood, they process those materials and then they produce some chemicals. And then they secrete these chemicals either into blood or apical surface. Now we will also look into detail what exactly are these chemicals, what exactly are these substances and what is the benefit of these substances. So as I said, apical surface is nothing but the surface of the plasma membrane that faces inward to the lumen. Okay. Now glands consist of epithelial cells that specialize in secretion. As I said, right? So epithelial cells three main functions protection secretion and absorption since the secretion is one of the major functions of epithelial cells therefore the glands also consist of these kind of cells some of the examples of glands which are seen in human beings are sweat glands oil glands mammary glands these are some of the very common examples of glands now let us look at the example of a sweat gland or an oil gland. What is a sweat gland? Whenever you work hard or whenever you're doing a lot of physical exercise, you start sweating or whenever it is too hot, you start sweating. So what happens when you sweat? You see droplets of water on your skin, right? So what is this water? From where does the water come? It comes somewhere from inside your body, right? So there are some organs called sweat glands. So their job is to synthesize sweat and secrete it on your body surface, right? So that means even though your sweat glands are located deep inside your body, but the products which they are producing, 
they are seen on the superficial surfaces so these are examples of glands similarly when you talk about oil glands you would have seen that some people generally girls they complain that they have got oily skin so their nose becomes very oily in uh, summer season or things like that so from where does that oil comes so again there are oil glands located inside our body they secrete oil and the oil is seen on your surface now every time that is not the case it is not necessary that whatever uh, chemicals a gland secrete that should be visible on the surface of your body sometimes whatever they secrete they secrete it into the blood so we don't really see them on the surface so similarly if you look at the roots of your hair so there also you have a gland called sebaceous gland you see this is how the structure looks like so even though the gland is located somewhere here but the oil is seen or the secretion is seen on the skin surface again mammary glands during uh, childbirth in females their mammary glands become active and they they secrete milk and that milk is again superficially secreted upon which the baby feeds okay now the most important question what do glands secrete as i said they secrete some material some chemical so what are those chemicals that is so important i mean that is the main purpose of glands that they are secreting some chemicals what are those chemicals and what is the use of those chemicals so what purpose do they solve so let us see what do they secrete one important thing which they secrete is hormones now what are hormones hormones are nothing but chemical messengers that act on specific target organs okay so again whatever things glands secrete they are all chemicals so chemical substances maybe their compositions are different so they are also chemical messengers messengers why messengers because they send some signals to some specific target organs that is why they call target organs let us suppose i want to convey a message to a person xyz okay so how can i convey him a message either i can send a letter but even if i want to send a letter there has to be a means of communication there has to be someone who will carry that letter to that person so that person is the target organ that means a message needs to be conveyed to that person now how that is going to be conveyed that depends on different types of means it can be through a telephone it can be through a letter it can be through an email so there can be many different means so here also whenever some message needs to be sent to a specific organ that is called the target organ so hormones act as messengers so they basically carry some information or some message to a specific target organ so the next thing that hormones secrete are enzymes now what are enzymes these are biomolecules made up of proteins and what is their role these are nothing but they accelerate the rate of chemical reactions occurring inside the body now you might be wondering what where do these chemical reactions take place inside our body now quickly think of the so many processes which take place inside our body like digestion respiration and what happens during those processes for example during respiration what happens we breathe in exchange of gases take place we breathe in oxygen oxygen goes to the lungs they absorb the oxygen and then that then blood transmits that oxygen to different cells of the body what happens inside the cell cellular respiration take place what happens in during that process with the help of that oxygen glucose is broken down to give carbon dioxide water and atp molecules are produced so what is happening there chemical reaction is taking place right similarly if you talk about the process of digestion how is the food getting digested by the action of different enzymes like pepsin the gastric enzymes which are getting produced right so there are so many chemical reactions which is taking place inside our body and the enzymes are those chemical substances which can increase or decrease the rate of a chemical reaction so if you want the reaction to happen very fast some enzymes can do that 
if you want the reaction to take place slowly again some enzymes can do that so they are enzymes third is metabolites what are metabolites these are small molecules that take part in metabolic processes now what are metabolic processes metabolism is nothing but all the life processes which take place inside a body a set of life sustaining chemical processes taking place inside cells of living organisms so what are these life sustaining chemical processes processes like digestion excretion respiration circulation without which an organism cannot live so all those processes are called metabolic processes and metabolites are nothing but the substances which take part in metabolic processes for example alcohols amino acids organic acids vitamins they are all examples of metabolites now many such metabolites are also secreted by glands so these are some of the important things which are secreted by glands and you also saw how they play a very important role in the life processes taking place inside our body thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again